For anyone that's new here, I've been doing a film project with disposable cameras. Basically, I gave them to different students around Seoul City and I told them to take any picture that they want. When they finished, they returned the film camera to me and I developed them and then uh, we see what kind of picture someone who's never been told about composition or who's never used the camera, film camera in their life, uh, we want to see what kind of pictures that I can take. Well, I got the second camera back and actually there's also been a development because I talked to a coffee shop nearby about possibly hosting a small gallery and once this project is all said and done, then we're gonna have the pictures of the students all over the wall so they can visit with their families. And my school also got involved and we might have a second kind of exposition in the school. So there's that. It's been getting along pretty nicely. So uh, I decided to give more cameras to more students despite the fact that this is all out of pocket for me. But anyways, let's look at the second student's pictures. This student is in middle school. The first picture, uh, and I know she went to New York, so these pictures are from New York, and not gonna lie, they look pretty good. So we got good composition there, and a little bit of lens flare, I like that. I like the second picture. But instead of being like an Instagram filter, this is an actual disposable camera with a little kind of faded look. And she's got that composition down, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she's got borders on the side with the buildings. So it looks like she's developing pretty well and she's doing this all by herself. We have a close up, it's more clear, less faded. Uh, this is a real good shot. I mean, I think they're both really good shots. Next picture, uh, it looks like maybe she was on some kind of observation deck. I I actually don't know New York very well. I've never been there. So uh, I think that's where it is. So lots of landscape shots. They're all quite nice, I think. And this one is similar. This one is kind of following the rule of thirds, maybe subconsciously, like... Uh, you can see the city is on the lower third and she wanted to get more of the sky in there. Actually, if I look at all these pictures, they do kind of have some kind of composition to them, which is kind of a surprise because I don't think she knows any of this stuff. It just goes to show that uh, your eyes are just more naturally drawn to this kind of thing. So I like this downtown shot very much. We have a shot looking up at the sky It's pretty good, not gonna lie. I would have liked to have seen this at night or in the blue hour, but she's got good framing skills. Like, uh, here we go, we have a second shot, same thing. I think this student has more of an eye for photography, I think. Like, uh, she has good potential. She likes geometry a lot and she likes tall buildings. This is good stuff. Like this, this, these photos are better than some of the things I see on Instagram. I'm not going to lie. It looks like we have here a metro shot, quite possibly. It's a little faded. There's not a lot of light down there, but she managed to get a nice, good shot. Next picture is all right. It's the other side of the building. Looks like there's some construction going on. Ah, this looks like a picture that you would see in a postcard. And I can see what probably caught her eyes. I spot one, two, three, four, five, six different American flags, seven. There's seven flags in one picture. Maybe that's what caught her attention, but it looks very, it's quite beautiful. This is a real good picture. Like. This is the kind of picture I think would win some kind of competition. Just like my opinion, straight out. Maybe some of you might want to print. I don't know, I'll ask her if she wants to do prints, you know, and give her what comes of it. But that looks really good. 
we have a continuation more flags or maybe more maybe new york just has flags everywhere right uh, i haven't been to a big city in the states in a long time so i have no idea what it's like anymore but she's got competition composition down and she's got good borders and she's got good subject matter we have here kind of a cathedral very cool it looks like a lot of people there uh, like i said i don't know about new york but seems like a probably a tourist hotspot but she managed to take a very fine photo so this this photo is quite good actually all of them have been really good and she hasn't put her finger in front of the lens but i kind of like that with the first student you know that's kind of cool you know but these pictures are really good and like i said it's better than most of the things you see on instagram better than most of the photos you see on youtube yeah so there's lots of buildings so we have top buildings in seoul uh but not to this uh kind of degree like not not that many so maybe i mean we do have many but not so dense it's kind of weird to say because Seoul is pretty dense but like there actually aren't that many skyscrapers together, you know, so I think that's what's getting to her. We have a nice picture of the streets with the uh, lights. Well composed and our eye is just naturally drawn to the uh, to the street signals. So she's got all kinds of things going on. She's got leading lines, she's got symmetry. Rule of thirds, wow. Th keep in mind, this is like someone who's never shot before, just shooting. Next picture looks like, uh, well, I, don't, I forgot what the name is called, but like is that maybe Times Square? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is right there, two, 20 Times Square. So this is during the daytime. Very cool. Never been there myself. This is, Instagram worthy <laughs> more than Instagram worthy. I mean these, these would make I think all these pictures would make nice prints to be completely honest. I Mean you don't even need to post process them or anything. They're just good and They all follow some kind of symmetry or some kind of rule not perfectly, you know, it's not like Not like a Seasoned photographer where everything is just like perfectly aligned and everything's like perfectly symmetrical but she's got some kind of sense of that without of ever using a camera, you know, so she's got potential, you know. I like this photo. This is another good picture of what I think is Times Square. You got the main subject matter of the buildings without cutting off too much of the bottom. So these are all really fine photos. We have another shot. Most of them almost all of them are really well composed and there's like no there's no doubt what is the subject basically like right now we got our eyes are all drawn to the center building and all the crowds are going towards it lots of flags good stuff next picture continuation of that it looks like she found something she likes so she's just taking more than one photo to kind of get the one she wants most here, mm. this one is all right. No, well, I personally, I don't like so much uh, empty space, but it works out very well here, especially your eyes just drawn to the truck, but also the sign. Here we have another shot. Um, it, it's actually really well done. It's it's all really well done. Like she she knows how to hold a camera despite not having held one. And you have like good geometry going on, you know. So this is good stuff. Like uh, this is better than my day stuff, you know. I think I'm not very good taking daytime photos. Uh, here is so, and this is quite lovely. I mean, you got all the clouds in the sky. It's, this is like a perfect day. It's really hard to find days like this in Seoul, but during the rainy season, you get a lot of these, so 
this is quite nice also a postcard worthy next one is uh the so yeah that's it for the second student's photos i thought they are really good like big difference but i gave out a few more and four more to go with it so they're gonna take some time but once all this is said and done, I'm gonna go back and choose like my three or four favorite of each student. We're gonna have like a little gallery for them. I'm gonna invite the parents and they can come and check it out and also do something together with the school. So this is the kind of stuff I like doing and uh, I hope there's people out there who are interested in what I'm doing. Maybe you have a daughter or a son or someone and you can just get them a disposable camera and let them go free. It's cool to see what I don't want to say tainted, but you know, like if you go to art school, all your ideas kind of get a wash because like you, you just imprinted with the ideas of your professor. And uh, the nice thing about this is I can see what the students see, like without being tainted by us adults, you know, trying to tell them what to do. And that's one reason I never do critiques for of other people or, hey, can you check on my photos? Tell me what you think. How can I get better? I don't do that just because I want people to develop their own style, you know. But anyways, have a good one. I'll see you around.